In this tutorial, we'll see how to use Postman for triggering API request. Postman is a free tool available for testing APIs. This is available for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. In Ubuntu, you can install it from software list. I'll search for Ubuntu software. And from here, I can search for Postman. And you will get the install option here and from here you can install and if you create an account you will be able to sync all the collections you are creating here in that way from wherever you log in you will be able to access same data collections are nothing but group of api requests here i have created multiple collections and if your device doesn't have valid SSL certificates or if it is using self-signed certificate, you need to make sure that you are disabling SSL verification. Else you will be getting the certificate validation error. But in the production, it is recommended to use valid SSL certificates. And if you want to create a new collection, can click on this plus button and give a name I'll give test collection and this will create the collection here I'll delete this I have already created a collection here rest conf demo I'll be using this for testing the rest conf connections and let us go to the RFC documentation and from here we'll see some of the API resource access mechanisms. We'll try to access it from index. I'll click on this and so here client starts by retrieving restconf root resource so we can hit this particular URL and I'll create a new request you can give a name here and our device IP is 0 0.63 and I'll give this URL and without authentication if I try sending so I'm getting an error saying 404 not found and if you want to make sure whether netconf is enabled or not we can execute show run pipe include IP HTTP and if you have this command that means you have enabled rest conf in the device so in this device I have already enabled it Now here I'll add the authorization. I'll click on type and select basic auth. And here I have already given the username and password. And headers we can leave the default for now. I'll click on send. So we are getting the data and if you compare this with this response it will be same and here I'll create another request and 
and this also is going to be a get these are not mandatory steps in api for our learning purpose we are just testing all this so here also i'll give 63 slash rest conf and i'll give basic auth send it so here also we are getting the expected data as per the rfc standard so here we can see the data the server will return the same data either way you can see the details here and if you want to get the server module information and i'll save this inside response demo and i'll call this 02 get rest conf and I'll create a new request here and this one I'll call module information I'll get the device IP I will copy this data and paste it here authorization basic and send it so this will be giving the complete module information so here we can see all the module details of this particular device so this is supporting all these models and you can send configuration using any of these namespaces and data models now we'll see how to get interface details to get the api we'll go to yang suit and from here i will click on interfaces gigabit ethernet and generate api so this is saying apis are generated and i'll click on show api so here we can see all the api details first we'll see how to get all the interfaces using this particular uri later we'll see how to get individual interfaces using this particular format so i'll click on this try it out execute so now yang suit will connect to the device and give us the response
and here you can see the API details. And this is the URL it is connecting to. I'll copy this URL and I'll add a new request 04 get all interfaces and method is going to be get and URL I'll set the authorization then in addition to that here you can see the accept data so this is saying this will accept data in JSON format and you can see the response here response also is in JSON format so we will set that also in the postman and these are the default settings and you can see here these are auto generated headers and we can hide it and now I'll give accept and application slash yang data plus json and let us try running this so status is 200 ok and we are receiving complete interface configurations in JSON format so whenever you are getting the API details you need to make sure you are adding even accept or content type and from postman if you want to get the equivalent curl command or python code you can get it from here I'll click on curl command and here you can see the curl command for getting same data and first you need to install curl in Ubuntu machine so you can use sudo apt install curl and you can install the curl then copy this URL paste it and by default we will be getting the SSL validation error first I will run it and show you so here it is saying SSL certificate is not valid so what you can do is you can give additional hyphen k that means ignore the SSL validation error and if we execute even from curl command we are able to get same data and if you want to run the python script you can click on python request and you can copy paste the same code in pycharm and test it in the next tutorial we'll see how to run this from python and here you can see authorization basic and some encoded data this is base64 encoded data of username and password if you want to decode it from the Linux terminal you can execute echo hyphen n and I'll copy this data
space pipe base 64 hyphen hyphen decode and here we are getting the actual username and password and if you want to encode username and password we can give echo hyphen m hyphen n then the username and password and base 64 so here also we are getting same data that means here postman is converting this into the base 64 encoded format 